Hi, so welcome back to the Complex Entertainment Group. Hope you guys have been doing well. I have been sick for the past eh, maybe two weeks or so. Um, finally got over it. Voice was kind of messed up, but we back. All right, so this is Reaper 7. I know it looks exactly like Reaper 6, right? It's just because I'm still using the same theme. So if you do update to the latest version of Reaper, it will not automatically disable your theme if you have it. It'll just display it and everything looks normal. All right, so let's load up MIDI track. That'll work. All right. So first new feature here. <clears throat> let's pull this up and let's go to pitch. All right, so I do a lot of my recordings using MIDI. Probably 90% of what I'm recording into Reaper is MIDI driven. So I'm a huge MIDI user i do do audio if i'm recording directly from like my hardware synth or obviously microphone or guitar or something but a lot of the stuff i'm on the midi so in this case i've added here there's this new feature for the snap pitch pitch wheel right so let's check this out uh and first just so that this makes sense i enable this in battery i use battery a lot so you see it's triggering shaker seven here. If I go to the modulation, it's already pitch is already set up in here. Not on that one though. So if I go to the pitch here and let's just start adding in some steps. Let's do it this way. Bit quicker this way. Add one in here. There. All right. So I have all these little slices in here right on the grid for the pitch. I'll enable pitch here. Let's say the semitones will go 12. So here's its flat. Oh. Now with this, you see here, my semitones are going set 12, I go up 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Get rid of the other ones. Highlight. There we go. Then go to here. Dog on it. There we go. And it's close enough.
Oh, if I wanted this entire other side of the track here, I just put a point in, move this whole thing back up to zero. See? And I can easily make sure it's set to zero because I see from here on the side, zero. So let's go. Or actually, if I wanted to, I can copy this whole thing, move all of this up there, and then do it this way. So to me, this makes this a whole lot easier. Well, not easier, but just an alternative way of being able to like pitch up your, your hi-hats if you want to do that. I mean, I could put in just different vocal sounds in here if I wanted to and make this act like a riser. The other way I would do it before was adding in all kind of like plugins or something to, where's my thing that I use? There it is. Before I would use elastic pitch and I would end up just modulating this, which still works pretty good. I wish then that they would also add in this snapping into the automation lane. Oh, let's remind me before I forget. Also here, since we are also able to do this snapping from this section, we can now also zoom in and out of the MIDI CC lane, which is helpful. So if you're trying to get real close and really see what you're doing, this helps. Again, I do wish we had something like that here. On the automation lane. So that I can basically do the same thing. But as I take this up, it's not snapping to anything. The other thing that came out is the metering for gain reduction. Which one do I know? All right, so I'm going to use the Pro Fat Filter Pro C2. I know this one works, I tested it out earlier. But as you see, I go to metering, display gain reduction for plugins that support it. There you see. So those are really the main features that I particularly enjoy in Reaper 7, especially being again a MIDI user. But I'm hoping on the next release or somewhere sooner and later, we'll see that snapping functionality added into the envelopes. If it's already there, please state in the comments, you know, how to turn it on because I could really use that a lot. Um, if you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a comment below, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll check you next time. Peace. Complex.